October, November 2016, um, FSC 1501, we're going to continue going through these questions. We've already looked at the bank recon. We now need to look at the multiple choice. Okay, so question one, 20%, 24 minutes, you've got multiple choice. Okay, the first one, two marks per question. So there's going to be 10 questions here. ABC stores use the perpetual system. When ABC stores purchase this inventory, it will be recorded directly into which journal? They're using perpetual. So where would you put this? The inventory account. Yes. Okay, because inventory is what you refer to stock or purchases when you've got perpetual. Yes. That's all. Simple, easy, three. 1.3. Um, okay, let's open up. Where were we doing this in? Um, what happened to you? Oh, there's it there. October, November 2016. It's going to take time to open the device. Okay. Right, so um, this was question two, Bank Recon. Okay, question one, MCQ. Right, so let's put 1.1 1 .1 here. 1.1, 1.1, 1.2. 1 .1, MCQs. All right, 1.1 1 .1 we said was three, right? Yes. Okay, next one. The inventory valuation method in which the total cost of goods available for sale is divided by the total number of goods in order to determine the average cost. Okay. They're, they're actually asking a management accounting question here. Okay. Average cost? A weighted average. Perfect. Okay. Next. 1.3 and 1.4 is using the same information. Okay, so. Um, you've got an extract of info, you've got purchases, returns, as soon as you see that, what system are they using? Peri periodic. periodic. Okay, periodic requires you to identify inventory as purchases. Okay, so they want to know the net purchases amount to be used in the calculation of the cost of sales amount. Okay, so net amount means after you've removed the returns yes. okay so what's purchases minus the returns 493 495 500 minus 5 do you agree no but there's a settlement discount received yes the settlement discount received is going to do what reduce your yes, so 49 493? Yes. Correct. Okay, so purchases minus the purchases returns minus the, what else? Discount. Yes. Received or granted? Received. Received. Got that? Yes. Okay, so that gives us 493. It's 500,000 minus 7. Yes, 493, option 3. 1.4, what's 1.4 asking you about? The revenue amount to be disclosed in the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income for the year ended 29 February will be. This is sales, do you agree? Yes. Okay, so sales is also going to be looking at what? The net amount. So here we'll take the sales minus the returns minus the discount granted. Is that okay? Yes. Right, so sales minus sales returns minus the discount allowed. Happy? Yes. Okay then? Yes, so it's What's wrong? number four. You sure? Yes, so it's number four. Okay. How do you know it's number four? Well, Six. 700. 700 minus 11 is? 689, yes, option 4. Happy with option 4. Okay, what's happening in 5? What do they want here? Yeah. The following information was extended from the account records of JCT traders for the year ending 29 February. Mm -hmm. A physical 
three account on 29 February indicated that inventory on hand amounted to 700,000. JCT traders use the periodic inventory system. Good. So if it's periodic, you know this is a cost of sale calculation, right? Yes. Okay. So cost of sales is going to equal what? We need to write down the formula. Cost of sales equals opening stock plus purchases minus purchases returns plus other costs minus closing stock. Is that okay? Did that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so it's just the formula that you need to know. I need to, you need to give me the amounts here. You tell me what the amounts are. First, give me the opening stock. Nine hundred thousand. Nine hundred thousand. First of March. Yeah. Hmm. First of March. Is what beginning open opening? It's open. Opening because it's the last year. Yeah, it's the 2015. Okay, the the year is what I'm looking at, eh? Okay. Okay, so 2015 would have been beginning of this year, end of last year. Okay. okay so yeah, it's happy with 900. What else? Plus, what are the purchases? 500,000. 500. What are the purchases returns? 30,000. Minus 30. Okay, um, do we have any other costs? Yes, we do. Freight charges on purchases. 15 plus 15. Yes. Minus closing stock is how much? How much is the closing stock? I don't know. It is there. Oh, 700,000. Yes. Okay, so minus 700,000. Correct. Gives you how much? 685. Is that option there? Yes. Option? Number one. Is it one? Yes. Okay. There you go. 1.6. Okay, you should like questions like this. The owner of Green Tea Stores, Mr. Khan, deposited 100000 into the business's bank account mm -hmm. on 1st of February. The account to be debited and credited in the general ledger of Green Tea Stores for the transaction will be bank and capital. Good. Option? One. There you go. Well done. Next one. On 9 February 2016, Green Tea Stores purchased furniture to the value of 60,000 Rand from the Isandu Furniture Dealers on credit. What effect will this transaction have on the accounting equation? Asset will increase and liabilities will increase. On credit, so liabilities will increase. Furniture is an asset that will increase. Good. Option? Three. Option three. Assets will increase, liabilities will increase. Happy with that one. 1.8. On 16 February 2016, Green Tea Stores had cash sales of 5,000 Rand. The two accounts involved in this transaction will be bank and sales. Perfect. Good, eh? Yes. On 23rd of February 2016, the accountant of Green Tea Stores issued a business check for 4000 to pay the water and electricity account of Green Tea Stores. The effect of this transaction on the accounting equation for Green Tea Stores will be... It's either one or three. Okay, you need to decide. 
three. Okay, what's going to happen to my bank? My bank is going to decrease. Bank is what kind of account? It's an asset. Good, so bank. Like I said, it's one. Asset, decrease. Yes. Debit or credit? Credit. Yes. Okay, what are we going to record? Water and? Electricity. What is it? It's an expense. Yes. Expense increase. If the expense increases, what happens to owner's equity? It decreases. Yes, so option number one. Okay, so you're right between one and three. Just be careful. Assets are decreasing, not increasing. Do you agree? Yes. Um, but be careful though. Um, it can't be number two because it's not a liability. Okay, but equity. Have a look at this. You've got a. They've changed the equation, so that it actually should have been a plus. Do you agree? Uh, okay, yes. Oh, actually, it will be a plus because a minus and a minus is a plus. That's yes, right. Yes, yes. Okay, so it's actually fine as is. There isn't a problem with the with the question. Happy. Yes. 11, uh, not 11, 10. A debtor of green tea stores pay 2,000 rand in court settlement of his account. The correct entry of this transaction in the general ledger of green tea stores and the effect thereof on the accounting equations will be. What's happening? Um, I'm saying number two. Bank increase, debtors decrease. Bank is an asset increasing and decreasing. Yes. Okay, a debtor has paid, so bank will go up and the debtor will decrease. Perfect. There you go. 10 out of 10. Well done. 20%. Option two, hey? Yes. Good. Save. Easy, hey? Yes. Nice. All right, your favorite journals. Question three. Yes. Okay, did they give you answer sheets for this? Hopefully. Yes, yes they no? did. Did they? Yes. Okay. Um, all right. I think maybe while I draw up these templates, because you can answer them on the actual sheet. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if you'd be able to record these. You like journals, hey? Okay. So you should be able to do this. Mm. All right. So um, let's do it this way. Okay. You do it there. I'm going to do it here. Don't look at my screen Why because um, um, the video will record what I'm doing. Okay. okay. And then you can check um, afterwards okay, to see how, how you do it. Okay. All right. So, so you do it as a question, test question. You did say you're most comfortable with journals. It's the nice section that you like. So see how you would do. Okay. And then we'll check it. How long is the question? 34 minutes. Right, so try to do it in 30 minutes. That should be okay. All right? Okay, try. Try your best. All right, and then I'll do the same thing here, and then we can compare notes just now.
I don't know this one. Okay, what does it say, Tom? Mrs. Y. Molloy's account mm. of 1,200 is three months overdue. Mm. Interest is charged at 8% annum. Okay, so we'll go to the general journal. It's a different transaction. Okay, just think about the debits and credits. General journal. But is it a debit or a credit? Well, um, what's happened to the account? Well, she's not paying us. So, what's happening to her account? Um, minus. Mm -hmm. So, she's not paying you and you're going to subtract her account. I'm lost. Okay. Think about it. What's going to happen to her account? I don't know. I'm Don't lost in you. <laughs> what are you doing? Charging interest. So it's so? increasing. Hmm. Where do debtors increase? On the debit side. There you go. Why does it increase? Because I'm charging interest. Yes, but should I work out the interest now? Yes. Okay. Sorry. You lost. Okay, should I do this with you then? Mr. T. Smith, a debtor of Cairo Traders, mm -hmm. purchased inventory for 5700 on credit. Okay, let's do these together. Okay, number one said, sold inventory on credit, so did you put this in the sales journal? Yes. Perfect. Okay, in the sales journal, the debtor owes you 18240 Yes. 18240 the VAT exclusive, so times 100 divided by 1 on 4, did you get that? No, I didn't work it out. Okay, divide by 1, 1, 4. 16,000. Okay, and then the difference is the VAT. Is that okay? Yes. Sure. Yes. Next one. Um, YM accountant of, um, oh, has an account of. Okay, 1,200 is three months overdue. Interest is still charged. Okay, so what is YM? A debtor. Yes. The debtor's account is here. Mrs. Malloy. There's it there, right? Yes. What's happening to her account? Increasing. Okay, so journal, general journal, debit, credit. You're debiting your account with how much? Well, I don't have uh, extra where you've put debit. You do, credit. you do, you do, do. do. I put it? Yeah. Um. Oh, you mean you write it down in that um, on that line? So you'd write you'd write debit debtors credit interest. Okay, just next to um, that there. Okay, don't write that down. Wrap it, wrap it out. Okay, yeah, you would just write debit, DR, and then debtors, and then Malloy. Okay, the working here, how much does she owe? 1,200. Is that right? Yes. Times. 
What is the percentage? It's 8%. 8%. 8%. How many months? 96. So 96 3 times 3. Over 12. There's the working. She hasn't earned, um, oh, well, interest isn't applicable for the full period. Do you agree? Yes. 0 0.08 times um, 3 over 12. 24 rand. That's the interest. Mm. That's wrong. I've got 96 rand. Mm -mm. You probably didn't pro rata times 3 over 12. Times that by 3 over 12, Jacqueline? Oh, okay, wait. Over I'm here, over here. Because it's per annum and per annum. Over here? Yeah, it's not. That's mind. there. Times 3. You got it? Divide by 12. Yeah, I see now where my mistake is. Okay. Yes. Got it. Yes. Okay. Smith, debtor, purchase inventory for that on credit. What do we do? That's the one that I don't know. Okay. Whose business are we accounting for? It's our business. Whose business are we accounting for? Kiara. Oh, yes. Right? Kiara is a debtor. Okay. So, T. Smith is a debtor of Kiara, so the debtor is for our business. Okay. So, sale or purchase? It's a sale. It's a sale. There we go. 5,700. Six, six, uh, six, five, six, five, six, uh, five, six, five. Okay. <laughs> you can use that as well, because the document numbers will give you a clue. What day was this? Seven. This was day four. I didn't put the date in there. Four. Day. Okay. Um, who was this? Smith. Um, it was 5 7. Ooh, 700. Wait. Sorry, I'm back to number two, the fourth one. Mm hmm. Aren't we supposed to add the 24 to the 1,200? No, you, you add that in the general uh, the general ledger, not in the general journal. Oh, right. You don't do it in the journal. Okay. Makes sense? Yes. Okay. Happy with 7 as well? Yes. 10. Received. received damaged goods by Thomas, a debtor, and issued a credit note. So what happened here? It sells returns. Good. A debtor, Thomas, came back and returned goods. Okay. Um, what day? The 10th. Doc number? 720. Details. Thomas, um, how much they return? Uh, sorry, uh, four, four, five, six. Okay, four, five, six. Got that number now. Okay. Um, the VAT exclusive. This times a hundred divided by one one four. Four hundred and then fifty six. Makes sense. Yes. Good. Next. On the fifteenth, mm -hmm. the account of Mr. J. Pillay. Of seven hundred forty one rand mm -hmm. must be written off as e -reco e recoverable. Okay, so it's credit loss. It's an expense. It's a, it's a general journal line item. Okay, because okay, there's no there's no credit losses journal. Yes. So debit the credit losses. Do you still remember what this count is? It's an expense. I'm gonna put the working in as well, why not? Debtors asset increase. Interest income, income, increase. Okay. Credit losses. What is the credit losses going to affect? Um, the debtors. What will happen to the debtors? Will decrease. Good. How much was it? 741. Happy? Yes. Okay, next. Sold inventory to Francis. Which journal? Sales journal. Perfect. 
Francis Day Seventeen Amount Five, Five One three zero. zero Okay that exclusive this times a hundred divide by one one four gives you that this minus that gives you six hundred and thirty. That's it. On the 18th, Mr. O. McQueen, a debtor, returned goods to the value of. So it sells returns. Good. John. You hear that one? Yes. 7 to 1. See, that source document actually helps you as well. 18. Amount? 7170. 1710. Seven. Okay, so this times a hundred divided by one four next on the twenty fifth okay on the twenty fifth sold goods on credit to Miss B Cypher. Okay, so it's sales journal. There you go. Five, six, seven, twenty fifth. Sing. Uh, Miss B sing. What's it? Six what's it? Six eight four oh. Six eight four oh equals that times a hundred divide by one one four. Okay, eight forty is the difference. Happy. And that's it. How much loss is that for? 28%. Do you have to total up? You do not have to close off the journals. Okay, they said you didn't. If you did, what would you do? You would do this. Total. If they wanted you to close off. Okay, that's what closing off journals mean. Just total up. Okay, and you do the same thing here. Okay, is that the sum? Yeah, 266. Okay, and then um, here you don't add up, that's it. Right, and that's it. I think workings there were mainly for your calculations. Yeah. That's the bit. Okay, I want to do the last question with you, then we've wrapped up October, November 2016. We've done one, we've done three now, we still need to do the last one. Okay, happy so far? Yes. Prepare the statement of changes in equity of Zeus traders for the year in the 29 February 2016. Yes. Okay, so that's the one, right? And then we need to look at statement of changes in equity and statement of financial position. Right, all you need to do here is you need to go down the list and you need to tell me what they are. Okay, and then it goes here to your disclosure. Um, where's the other page? This is financial position. Ah, oh, there's the... There's the statement. changes in equity. Okay, so capital is the only column that you've got. Okay, and the statement of changes in equity. So where's the statement of changes in equity? Here's it. Um, I'm only going to have one column called capital. Okay, so all of this gets deleted. Don't worry about any of this other stuff. It's not applicable for this particular question. Okay, so the only column you've got there is capital. And then in your statement of financial position, uh, this one, Okay, that you don't need. It wasn't asked for. Delete. Okay, statement of financial position. That's what you've asked. That's what you asked for. Oh, yes. Okay, so it's just um, so you, you know everything already because we've covered everything. All, all you need to do now is disclose the information correctly, i.e., present it in a specific layout or format. That's what they're trying to test here. Okay. Okay. So in order to record everything in this, we just need to know what it is. Okay, so what's the first account? Capital. Capital. Beginning or opening balance? Uh, opening or closing, rather? Opening. Opening. So where does capital go? In the statement of changes in equity. Right, so now, where's my statement of changes in equity? Oh, these are the templates. Close that. Here's it. I'm going to have balance at the beginning of the year. Okay, I would change this to the balance they gave you. What is it? First March. 1 March 2015. Okay, and the capital amount was 1540. 
oh, 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 four zeros. Got that? Yes. Okay. That's the balance as per the statement. So you're just taking a count that you know and you're recording it according to a specific format. That's all. This is just format. Okay. okay, there's no accounting here other than, do you know what they are? Okay. Okay, so do you know what drawings is? Yes, drawings is? It's a... Drawings. Oh, yeah. Right? Yes. And what will drawings do to capital? It will reduce it. Decrease it. Okay, so you'll have profit for the year here. Okay, and then you'll have less drawings. Right, because drawings will decrease your capital, right? Okay, drawings is when they take from the business. Do you agree? Now I'm with you. Yes. Okay. So, how much is the drawings? 20,000. Good. Minus 20,000. Remember in accounting you show that in brackets. Okay, remember accounting show things in brackets to show negatives. So you would have brackets, brackets, brackets. You show a, a bracket, you'd have a bracket like... Okay, brackets. write in front of the minus, or don't you write no, you, the minus? No, you don't write the minus, because okay. I, I have to put a minus because Excel can't show a bracket. Okay. okay, so you show negatives in accounting in? Brackets. Brackets. Okay. Got it. Okay, land and building what is an this? asset. Good. Which kind of asset? You get two so types. You need to put headings. It's not a current asset, it's a non-current yes. asset. Yes, land and buildings how much oh i need to put headings. you need to put headings yeah they're not going to give you those headings you need to differentiate between long term and yes short term, term. how much is it 2650 yes okay next um, sorry it's fine Oh, it died. Yes, unfortunately. The next one is office equipment. Where does it go? Office equipment is a liability. Yes, but have a look at below it. What do you have below it? Depreciation. Remember we spoke about depreciation? Okay, yes. Okay. How do I calculate depreciation as a percentage of? What is accumulated depreciation viewed as? Negative asset. Remember that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, what does the depreciation do to the value of the asset? It decreases. Exactly. Okay. What's a uh, Varda for mindering? Is, yeah. is that right? Yes. Okay. All right. So, with depreciation, what am I going to do? Put it in brackets. Yes. Subtract it. So. 400 minus 40 is going to be shown here as office equipment. 400,000 minus 40,000. Close brackets gives you 360. Got that? I have a debit and a credit side. Hey? I have a debit and a credit side. Uh, the one is for a working. Yeah, you don't have to show the working if you show it in brackets. Okay. Right, it's not a trial balance, it's a financial uh, position. They've actually given you um, extra space. Okay, what you can do is you can put the totals. Okay, let me, oh, don't, 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 don't write anything. Okay, so, um, okay, write what you're writing there in this column, the first column. Okay, I'll add an extra column just so it's the same as what you've got. Okay, and then you'll see what you have to do just now. Okay, right, so I'll, it's easier for me to change this than for you to change that. Okay. Happy. Yes. Now what? Next, come. Vehicles? Vehicles at cost, it's a non-current yes. asset. Yes. Does, does it have depreciation? Yes. How much is it? 600 minus 60. Yes. It's 540. Actually, that was good. Brain's working well. Don't need a calculator. <laughs> inventory. Hey. Inventory. Uh, yeah, just up. Um, get the right line, yeah. How much? 
It's 500,000. Good. Current asset, hey? Yes. Was that open your closing stock? Look, they, did they give you any additional information? They gave gross profit. That's it. Okay, no, that's fine. Okay, where are we? Mm. Yeah. Okay, next. Oh, um, I, I wrote it here. There's no working for it. 500,000. Okay, makes sense? Yes. Okay, good. Debtors control? Mm? It's 270. Debtors control is a current asset. 270. Yes. Was there an allowance here? Remember, we need to check. No allowance for debtors. Credit losses, so that's fine. 270. Yes. Okay, next. Prepaid expenses. What is it? It's, it's a liability. Mm -mm. Try again. Oh, a statement of changes. Mm -mm. Which one? The only one that's left, the statement of financial position. But the? The asset. Yes. Okay, so? It's a current. Yeah, it's a resource amount. 1,000. Next. Bank favorable. What is bank favorable? It's a credit in the bank. So it's 900,000 in the... Asset liability. Current asset. Yes. Next. If I only write bank, is it okay? Yes, you only have to write bank. Okay. Petty cash is a current asset. Good. How much? 2,000. Next. Um, Long-term loan is 300. Is? It's a non-current asset. Mm. Good. I don't have any space. How much? No, 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 no. Why are you saying asset liability? A loan? A loan? Oh, it's, an, it's a liability. A loan is a liability. So you need to leave space here because this is equity and liability. So you'll have equity, then you'll have liabilities, and liabilities need, be, need to be broken up into non-current and current. Okay, wait. Okay, so leave two lines. No. Okay, equity, yeah. Write equity, and then leave two lines. Then total liabilities. Then put a heading for non-current and then heading for current. Got that? Yes. Non-current or current, which one? Um, Long-term to non-current. Yes. How much? 300. Okay, and that goes there. Next. Okay. Mortgage. What is this? Uh, it's a liability. Good. Long term? Long term. How much? 700. Yeah. Oh, 700, sorry. Next. Um, credit is control is 200,000. Which account? It's an asset. Credit is control. Oh, wait. It's an... It's... Creditors. Who's your creditor? No. Creditor. Someone you're purchasing from. Yeah. Credit um, purchases, right? Yeah. Credit is control is a current liability. How much was it? 200. 200. Okay, create expense. Expenses that you still need to pay meets the definition of a liability. Yes. Okay, current or non current? Um, current. Good. Okay, and that's it. You just need to look at the additional information now. Okay, which is gross profit, which is going to affect the statement of changes in equity. Because who gets who's entitled to the profit? The owner. Perfect. Okay, so statement of changes in equity, gross profit for the year was how much? Five five. And then you had other expenses. So profit for the year here is going to be a working. Open brackets. 
How much was it? Five and a half. Well, five million five hundred thousand less three million. Okay, because that's the net profit. Okay, because what does the owner get? The owner doesn't get the gross profit. The owner gets the Lisa. net profit. What's left over after having paid all the expenses. Okay, so 5.5 .5 minus 3 is 2.5. There's it. Who gets that? The owner. Okay, that's in the... Yes. Because... I've written drawings. Where's your drawings? The drawings are here. So... You left out a line. You can write it afterwards though. As long as you've got less drawings, it's fine. Write it after. Got that? Yes. Okay. Now we need to work out the total. Sum up. Add those two minus that gives me 402. Who gets this? This will have been 28 Feb 2016. Who gets this? Good. So this is the owner's equity. Okay, so that's the owner's equity. Where does owner's equity get disclosed? It also gets disclosed on disclose also on the statement of financial position. Okay, got that. Yes. Right, and where is that going to go? It's going to go here in the statement of financial position. Okay, so where's my equity? There's my equity. I'm going to write capital. Okay, and capital is going to be okay an amount of equals um, where's the equity? There's the equity. There, 402. Okay, under equity. Alright, so now all we have to do now is just delete the extra lines and sum up in total. Okay, um, alright, so let's total up the assets first. Okay, do you agree if I add all of them, I'm going to get the non-current? Okay, so sum up, so you add up and then you put that in that column. Okay, so the totals go in that column, summing up all of those three. Okay. Okay, and then you do the same thing here. Sum up all of those, and then it goes in that column. Okay, you can do this in one column. They've just they've been they're they're fancy by giving you two columns. You can put it in one column. It's not going to matter as long as you put these total line total columns. Okay. okay. Total assets would be what this plus that. Your non current plus your current is your total. Yes. There's your total. Got that. Yes. Okay, now what? I need to total up the bottom here. So total equity, equity is that. That didn't change. Ooh, why doesn't that update equals that? Okay, there's the total equity. Okay, my, my non-current, I need to sum up all of that. Okay, so there, I sum up those two. Those two added give me that. Make sense? Okay, these two added give me that. Okay, so now you've got your non-current and your current. What what do you have as total? Total liabilities is what? Non-current plus the current. current. Okay, so total is this plus that. Gives me the total. Makes sense. Okay, and then how do I get total equity and liabilities? Well, what is it? It's total equity and liabilities. Do you agree? So there's your equity and there's your liabilities. So this plus that gives me how much? That plus this gives me 522. Okay, does do those two amounts equal? Yes. Yes. Total assets equal equity liabilities because A equals O plus e. L. Oh, no. Yes. Okay. So now you know you've gotten full marks on this question as well. Mm, I haven't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. You just need a total. So you got. You had everything else. Just total up. I just. I just put in totals here. Uh, did you not? Did you leave out a total? Which total? 
Total liabilities. Okay, add those two. Non-current to current gives you that answer. Got that? Yes. What else did you miss? Equity you've got? Oh, and then the last column, yeah, the last total. That's all. Okay, this, this needs to be the same as that, and you know you've got full marks. Okay. Hey. Awesome.